everyone welcome back to my channel all right so i wanted to share with you guys yesterday i did a live and we created this box using the bag maker um all the dies were from scrapdivadesigns.com you guys can use my code poochie 10 if you're interested in grabbing anything from her site and then we combined it with her new pop-up card which is this really cute little like envelope shape it has all these layering pieces check out the live guys so you can see all the details and then we also started this mini album that I want to um, make for my mom for Mother's Day. Hopefully she doesn't like see it or whatever and it ruins the surprise or whatever. But we went ahead and we matted all this stuff, put this together. And I also used the bag maker die to create the spine to this book. So this is not done. I still have to put pictures. I still have to decorate. I still have to do a spine. Um, but yesterday... I did come in my craft room last night. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Elaine. Welcome, guys. And, oh, and then I put the Sakura um, flowers, the tool ones that we made on live. I'll link those videos down below if you guys are interested. Um, yesterday, I did come in my craft room, and I did embellish the front. And I just used um, the Wool and Grove collection. I added some ephemera pieces from the collection, something from the sticker, the 6x12. Hi, Sheikaboo. And these little, like, greenery guys, they're so cute. They go with the paperclip um, die as well. I told you guys, these are going to be great for embellishing things. Even if there wasn't any flowers or involved or whatever, they will look really cute sticking out of your projects. And then um, that cute little piece, layering piece that comes with the paperclip die... So it's really cute, guys. I got to figure out what I'm going to do for the spine. I have to print out some pictures um, and size them down. And then I'll be able to decorate the rest. And I got to hurry up because Saturday is Mother's Day, guys. I got to give this. I have to give this to my mom Saturday. So I have to have it ready. Tomorrow's going to be a crazy day. So I'm hoping that later on I can come on and we can, like, finish this. I don't know. I don't know if I want to share those pictures I'm not sure yet, but again, this is a really cute little idea. Snatch these dies, guys. They're must-haves. So today I want to come on and then, you know, I could just, I can really, I have room to make this nice and thick. Like I have a lot of room to embellish. You know what I mean? Like I can put the flowers in here and it fits perfectly in this box. Okay. Hey, baby. Hoo -hoo. So check out this video. I have a link down below if you didn't. It's kind of a long one. Um, I struggled a little bit, but it came together pretty nicely, I think so. And I want to stick a tag in here that says mom across it so she can like pull it out. And I put you are the absolute best from the little card kit. It looks perfect on here, I think. So I really like how it came out, guys. So today's video, I am just itching to get projects done and to play with these new dies. So we're going to play with Scrap Diva Designs um, dies again today, her new release. We're going to play with these, which are the Ladybug tags. And even if you're not into Ladybugs, you need to grab this because you never know when you will need a Ladybug die, you know. And not only that, they're just really cute heart tags, okay? So I did use this one, as you can tell. I used it on cutting a heart into my um box purse and speaking of box purses guys that's from my um crafting world's designs i finished the purple one that i did a tutorial on guys and i used the happy crafter buttons aren't they so cute and i folded the flap on the outside i'm really thinking about let me move a bit without showing too much mess because my desk is a mess i'm really thinking about putting this chain on here from happy crafter shop the pink matches perfectly. You know how some, some bags, they come with a handle and then they come with like, you know, a bigger chain, whatever. So you can use it like a crossbody or whatever. So I'm really thinking about adding the chain somehow. I don't know. I'm just thinking about that. But anyways, let's get to this die here. So once you cut this, like if you use this for, to cut out like a, like I did it with the heart. You think I should put it on, Bevy? I think so, too, girl. I don't know if it's going to look funny, though. I'm just worried it's going to look funny with the chain and the handle, you know? So once you use this to cut something out, you'll have the extra piece as well. So kind of keep that in mind. All right, so let's play with this. I got my hair everywhere. Let's play with this ladybug die. 
And I also want to play with the paper clip again, and I want to make a jumbo paper clip with it. You get so many pieces with this little mini album die. I love her mini album dies because I always end up making everything but a mini album. They have so many, there's so many uses for them. Okay, so let me take this die apart with you guys. Hi, Nati. I see lots of bags like that now. Let me not this one. It's time for me to get some new uh, pliers. I got these from Bead Craft Babe a long time ago when she first started. And I love them so much. And they're breaking apart on me. I, they're so well loved and used. I love these. All right. So with this die set, we're going to make some cute little lady. I want to make at least one ladybug. But I really want to use the hearts. To just make cute little embellish heart shaped embellishments. Hi, Ines. So this is how I take my dies apart. Get all these pieces on here, you guys. So you're gonna get um three different size tags, heart shaped tags, and then all the pieces that coordinate with it. So this is like the base of the tag. You get heart reinforcers for the top of the tag in all three sizes. And then you get like these little circles to make the little spots for the ladybugs. So we're gonna make a jumbo paper clip with this and we're gonna layer it with the ladybug. I think that's what I want to do. And I told you guys I want to make pink ladybugs. So I did grab some pink glitter paper. You really can pull these off with your hands. But sometimes they don't come off too easily. So I'm just grabbing these just in case. These you can kind of bend. And then they come off. Take off all these pieces because it will make marks in your paper. What collections are you with right now? I'm stuck on Woodland Grove. I really do want to play with like Paracel and other like sunny days and stuff like that. But I really like to like when I'm playing with. I don't like switching collection to collection to collection because I make a huge mess. So I'm trying to stick to the same one. All right, I'm not taking this one apart. I'm just going to leave all three of them together. Again, this is the reinforcers to the top of the tags. All right. Splendid. Oh, that's that pretty bright one. I've been seeing so many beautiful things people are making with that collection. All right, so let me get my little magnet sheet. And let's put them on there. I think we're gonna make, let's do the paper clip base first. And then, I'm always trying to like fit as many as I can. Cause man, these little magnet sheets add up guys. If you know, you know. Okay, let's stick that with that. Am I missing pieces? There's my big. Okay, no. There's the large. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, I got it mixed up. Is that the small? Yeah. Okay, my little reinforcers and then all my little dots. Yeah, these are not gonna, I'm gonna have to do them separate. Hey, Natalie. Um, carousel, carousel so pretty. I can't wait to play with that collection again. All right, 
So let's go ahead and cut. Sorry, y'all. You're going to have to watch me die cut. We're not going to die cut much like yesterday. All right. So I got all my dies. Let's go ahead and make the base. Of course, I'm going to use my 110 pound cardstock so that our embellishments can be nice and sturdy. I've been trying to get able to take a nap for hours. She finally went to sleep. All right, so we're gonna cut this. I'm gonna do two of these. Like I'm gonna double it. And then I need to figure out the paper to use for the background. So this is the layering piece. And I'm gonna cut two of these because I wanna put one in the front and one in the back. And I think I'm gonna attach this to the paper clip with um, some ribbon. on miss elaine what have you been up to mama all right let me cut the layering piece and i'm just gonna use this paper that i have right here and i'm gonna do the same for front and back i think yeah Cleaning and organizing. Um, I think I'll just do it like that. How crazy my plates are starting to look, man. Insane. All right. And then I have these jumbo paper clips. These are from Ross. They were $1.99. Pretty purple color. And then I got these from Ross as well for $1.99. But you can find these at like TJ Maxx. You can find them everywhere. You can probably find them on Amazon. We're going to use the gold. And I think I want to use this to attach it to the clip. So when you attach it, you want to attach it to the side, not the broken side, the solid side. And then think about how you want your clip to go. So if you want it to clip on like this, just flip it around, you know? If you want it to clip on this way, and have it that way. I'm gonna put it this way. I think it'll look cute clipped like that. 
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on foam. Wait, let me see. Because I do want to add these little scallop pieces that come with it. So I gotta pay attention to that. I guess I could put foam underneath it too, right? Hmm. Yeah, I wanna put foam on here, so. It is so beautiful today, you guys. It's gonna be hot one. It's gonna be a hot one today. But I'm not feeling like doing anything. I don't even feel like cooking. Which ones did you get, Elaine? Yes, in the 80s, which is a dangerous day in Chicago. It's already 82, my God. Last night, it was so hot. It was 80 degrees in my damn house. And I had to turn on the air conditioner because I was like, oh, no. And then in the morning, it was so cold. This is the kind of weather that gets you sick, man. Come on. Okay. So let's line this up. Guys, I'm telling you, this little die is a must-have. It's so cute. I could not wait to play with this. Okay, let me see. And then this. I don't know how I'm gonna. I should have. Let me see. Does this go like right on the edge? You can put it wherever you want. Do I want to stick it on the edge like this? Does it look better like this with the pink showing, you guys? Or should I put it, line it up with the outer edge? The outer edge or the inner edge? I know some of the girls said they wanted to get um, some together. Mm, what do you guys think? Inner edge or outer edge? Let's see. And then we're gonna put our string. Mm, it's kind of see-through, right? Inner edge, outer edge. Inner edge. Hi, Tanya. Two volts for inner, three volts for inner. Okay, inner. Yay. I'm glad you guys said that so that I can glue it. And I don't got to worry about no foam. Isn't this little edge so cute? You guys, you can make so many things with this alone. With this little edge alone, you can make a lot of really cute little embellishments. Okay, let me line it up. Look at how pretty. Okay. And then, let's see. I really want to add this. Some eyelets. That would be cute with some jump rings. Hanging on this with some jump rings. That's a good idea. I should have did that first, though. Hmm. Let me think. I'm going to use the string. Just because I'm going to have to put eyelets on both sides. So I, wanna do, I really want to do that, though. That would be really cute. 
You know what I mean? Like hanging off the... Dang it! All right, let's do it. Let me see. I'm gonna kind of put it... Just gonna eyeball it. Like right here. You're not really gonna see the eyelids, but that's okay. And then... Let me put a little dot. For the back. Ah! I get so nervous doing this. Great idea for the eyelets. Let me grab my little eyelets. Oh, that just reminded me. Somebody asked me to send them a link to some eyelets. I forgot about that. Okay. We're just going to use these little circle ones. Let me cover my glue up, guys. I'm trying so hard to be good about covering that up. Um, let's just use pink. Like, if we don't have enough pink. I'm just not sure how I want to embellish this yet. I probably should have embellished it first. Hey, Chiquita. It's so hot in my room, my God. All right, let me put these eyelets on. I'm hot, mama. I never said these the right damn way. Yay. Hey, Tracy Boo. Hello, everyone. I hope that I'm not um, missing anyone. I'm making a jumbo paper clip with the uh, Scrap Diva die that we played with yesterday. And we're going to make some little ladybugs with the ladybug die. I want to see how those look. I hope I don't need that. So if you're going to do this, do the eyelids first. How am I going to get in here, guys? Oh, Lord. Okay, I got it. Hey, Cheryl's. Hootie hoo. 82. Tracy, stay safe over there, girl. Make sure your boys are in the house today. They don't need to be outside. Okay. So this is the um, paper clip mini album from Scrap Diva Designs. The Jumbo Paper Clip, I think it's called. Oh, Chiquita, it's always up and down here. We always have bipolar weather. It can be 82 one day and then snow two days later here. Okay. So there's that. Let's do the, some jump rings. I want to attach it with some jump rings. And I want to use my little white jump rings. I just had some out the other day. What did I do with them? My desk is starting to get crowded again. Oh, here they go. I think I want to use some white jump rings today. 
Oh, no, girl, the 90s. Uh-uh. If it was the 90s here, I'm not going outside. Unless we're going to, like, the water park or something. Okay. Exactly. And everyone got sick during that weather here in my house. Okay, so let's attach this. Whose idea was it to do the jump rings again? Great idea. Let me see if I can find who said it. Was it you, Shika? Or was it you, Tanya? Mm. I can't find the comment. Nati, thank you. Thank you for the idea. Okay, let's do this. So. And then let me hook the back piece on before I close it. What you laughing at? Oh, it was you, girl? <laughs> Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. And I was like, wait a damn minute. Yes, this is going to be cute. And then I could dangle some stuff from there. I should have did it more on the outer edge. If I make another one, I'm going to do it more towards the outer edge. I think it'll look cuter. And it would have been easier to punch. <laughs> and I was like, it was your damn sissy, girl. <laughs> Guys, wish Natalie a happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Hoo -hoo. She left in that live that yesterday. The nerve. And then I'm going to put foam on these two. Because I don't want them moving. Oh, that would be cute, though, if it flips open. Maybe I should leave it like that. Maybe I should leave it, and then you can open it and put something here. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so there goes our little paper clip. How does it look like this, guys? Just order stronger jump rings. What you trying to say, Chiquita, that my jump rings are, are weak? <laughs> She's like, that reminds me. I just ordered some stronger ones. Okay, let's embellish. Oh, wait, we got to cut the little um, ladybugs. That's too big. We're going to use the little baby. The little, little. The little, little, little. That's the layering piece for it, right? I'm actually going to use the medium with it. She <laughs> mm, like, no. Okay, let's see. So I want to use glitter paper. I'm trying to think. Should I have the layering pieces be glitter paper? Or the little dots. See, so many decisions. Like, you got to think about all these things, guys. Should I make the background the glitter paper? Hmm. <laughs> Just like, no. Okay, let me see. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Let me think. Mm, I can't think right now. Let's just cut. And I'll decide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use 
It comes with the dots, though. But do I want to cut those dots? They look like mice. They're ladybugs. I'm looking for that pink with the polka dots. Do I have one in here? Is it coming a six by eight? I'm almost sure it does. Yeah. So we'll cut that one. I kind of want to make a purple ladybug. Don't you wish these little um, six by eights came with like three of each design? Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut both of these. Just because I'm not sure what color combination I want to do. And then I'll have extra to make a couple of different ones, different ways. You know what I mean? All right. So let's stick that there. And then I got to do the, um, the glitter as well. Thank you. It's so cute. I love this purple with the gold foil. Oh, my God. I'm in love with this periwinkle color now. Oh, my God. That purse that I made, it was like, you know, I always make everything either pink or whatever. So it was different to use the blue and the purple, but it's so pretty. Hi, Auntie Caffeine. How are you, my love? Happy Friday Eve, everyone. I live for Fridays. Fridays and Saturdays. over there all right let's move my scraps there and then let's cut the glitter paper this glitter paper is from michael's guys it's so beautiful and it is so expensive my god they're like three dollars a sheet or something i can't remember how much they are but they're expensive i remember i grabbed five sheets and yeah and it was like almost 20 bucks i don't know something like that all right, let's run this. I really like this die set because even if you're not into like ladybugs or whatever, you have some really cute heart tags that you can create. Yeah, girl, I got it right here. I was gonna, I was thinking about cutting into it. I did pull it out actually. Um, I kind of want to cut this tag too, so we can see how it looks as as a tag. And maybe we'll layer it on the big one. We'll layer it on the big one. And yeah, I did grab that Dollar Tree paper to use it. I like to call it the unicorn paper. And let's see how this cuts. Look at how pretty, you guys. It's so much thinner. I probably can cut two at once. Yeah, you're right. The purple is going to look good on this. So, I'm going to double this. And let's cut both of these. I'm going to see how this cuts, this dollar, how the die cuts with two pieces of that thin um, Dollar Tree glitter paper. Let's test it out. Yep. 
easier. I think it cut well. Let's see. All right, guys. So here goes our paper clip. I got a musket going on right now. Yep, it cut right through it, guys. Paper's kind of thin. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my God. Come on, Dollar Tree. Hey, Stace. Yes, girl. Dollar Tree's been doing this thing ever since the pandemic. I feel like during the pandemic, that's when they really started, like, up in their game. How cute are those little, like, just like little tags, guys. And you can probably even, like, dangle one of these off of here would be really cute. Or dangle it off of this. That's so cute. All right, but let's make a ladybug. Because that is what... I want to see how these ladybugs look put together. All right. I got a lot going on right here. You know what? I got to cut the ladybug body. What did I do with it, guys? The small one. Right here, right? Is this a small? No, that's the medium. All right, what did I do with it? It's missing. Damn it. Mm. Oh my God, why does this happen to me every day? Every live. I want to cut the body out of whatever. I'm just going to use this one. And then. I feel like this is it though, right? Yeah, it's right here. This is the small. So I'm going to cut this out of the Dollar Tree one because. It's going to look good. On the purple. On top of the purple. Got some of what the um the glitter paper oh girl you got all the time in the world to use it i had to grab it just for this page man it's so pretty all right. hi crafty lady how are you happy friday eve I probably can cut three. I know it's a lot of hearts. You can never have too many hearts, girl. That's what I was saying that I like about this die. Because you don't have to just do the ladybugs. You can make some really cute heart embellishments, heart tags. And hearts, they're just like essential, you know, like all day long. All right, let's see. We got a lot going on here. So this is my base piece. This is my base piece. These are my bases. Let's move the tags over here. Let's get some order. Let me take these apart because there's two. Let me put them like that. So that it doesn't separate the right from left. Yes, girl, that's what I'm saying. Like they're the bomb i use the heart die from this set to um cut into the box that's the bigger heart guys it's a really nice size and guys those of you who are just joining look at how the i did a tutorial on this look at how pretty it came out it's so cute i wasn't sure about all the purple and the blue but it looks so pretty with that bright pink all right so i'm just separating my pieces I want to see how this ladybug is going to look. All right. I think I'll do the pink glitter paper. Oh, Lord. Here she goes with the purple. We're using the ladybug heart tag and the jumbo paper clip mini album. And we're making a paper clip. These are all from ScrapDivaDesigns.com, guys. You can use my code Poochie10 to save 10% off your purchase. This is her new um, May release. She's got some really cute dyes. 
I've got a lot of projects to do, you guys. Man, even though I'm getting a lot done, I feel like I'm not getting enough done, you know? So many pieces. All right. I don't know if I want to make the face and the body the same color, you know? Oh, that paper looking like I got silver right now. What's going on? Wrong side. Let me make sure they're not together. Maybe I should do a different color for the face. Hmm. Let me think. Let's see how the unicorn face looks. Thank you, Chiquita. And then maybe the pink. I feel like once you put dots, you're really going to be able to tell it's a ladybug. Mm. Yeah, I think I like that better, guys. I don't think I like it all the same color, matchy-matchy. Let's see how this looks on the purple. Doing too much? Hmm. You like that color, color combination? I think this color combination looks nice. Let's do the purple on this one. The purple is so pretty. I love this color so much. I like the purple one the best, I think. I do. Where's my pink one? Maybe we could use that pink one for the face. Hmm. Where is it at? Somewhere. It's underneath this one, isn't it? Yep. Hi, Eve. Is that too dark, you guys? Yeah, it's too dark. Damn, I like that purple one. Let me see how it looks all the same color. Whoop. Dropping things. Yeah, I like the purple a lot. Is it too matching to you guys? Too matchy matchy, right? What do you guys think? This one's cute too. I think the purple face needs to go. Not too matchy matchy, all purple. Give me your opinion, guys. Hmm. Looks good. All purple. I kind of want to put some vellum like so it can flap. It gets lost, right? I think so too. But I don't like the pink on there. Hmm. I don't know. So these are supposed to be heart-shaped ladybugs. I definitely like these combinations. The colors are cute. And it kind of looks like a button. You can probably play it as a button as well. You like the white better? The purple looks better than the pink one. The purple definitely stands out a little more. Hi, Sandra. And then let's do the pink glitter on this one. <laughs> it looks like a mouse too. Yeah, it just looks, it does look, kind of look like a cute little mouse. Okay. 
I want to put another layer to have it like flapping. Ladybugs have wings, right? They do. I remember when I lived on the east side, we used to get ladybugs so bad. Oh my God. And people used to say that they're good luck. But they would freak me the hell out. So I think that you're really going to be able to tell. It's going to look best with black and red, I feel like. You won't really be able to tell that it's a ladybug. We could add some black little dots. We'll see which one I end up choosing for this paper clip. I'm really liking the one with the purple wings. See, this one's cute too. They're all cute. They eat soft bugs. They eat our beautiful plants. Oh. When I was a kid, we went in a trip to this mountain during ladybug season. They freak me out, man. Some people say they don't bite, but some people say that they do. Anybody got bit by a ladybug? I like the purple wing one too, girl. I think it's my favorite too. But I'm really liking this one too. Can only put you can make a pink ladybug. <laughs> I told you guys when I got my package, I'm like, oh, we gotta make pink ladybugs. This purple just so this paper is so pretty, you guys. You gotta put a little extra for the um glitter. This is the Dollar Tree glitter paper, guys. Look at how gorgeous. You can't really tell though with the little die cuts. So I would definitely use this paper for bigger cuts, you know? Because you can't really tell on the rest. You know what will look cute instead of the dots? To do like nouveau dots instead. Or diamond dots instead of the circles that come with it. I think that would be cute. Use your bone folder to get these on really well with the thick glitter cardstock. This one keeps shifting. The nerve, the disrespect. Oh, I'm really loving the purple one, you guys. I don't know. I think it's going to pop really cute on here. We'll see. Okay. Why do I have extra pieces? Because I cut extra. Hmm. I got a lot of extra pieces with that one. I don't know. No, I must have... I don't know. Okay. And then I wanted to see how these tags looked. I cut extra. Oh, because I used the two. I should have put the purple face on that one, but whatever. Okay, and then you can create a tag with this. I cut the wrong sizes, you guys. But that's how it will look as a tag. And even if you didn't do the ladybug, you know what I mean? Like, it will be a cute embellishment. Hmm. We could do the ladybug hanging off of the thing. I did too many color combinations, you guys. All right, let's see. So we cut out the ladybug to see what it's going to look like. Here goes our um, jumbo paper clip embellishment. And I was going to glue these together with foam tape, but I'm kind I kind of like the idea of it of you being able to flip it open. That'll be a cute, right? A jumbo paper clip you can use as an embellishment and then have it like a card in the inside or something. And maybe I could do like some kind of ladybug saying phrase or something in the inside with the ladybug. All right, I don't know. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Let me grab some ephemera so we can 
embellish this. I got so many die cuts in here right now. It's insane. Oh, that blue looks so pretty on there. It's just not giving me ladybug because of these colors, you guys. Not what ladybug say, like a cute little pun on ladybug. You know what I mean? A cute little saying that has like a bug or something on it. Shut up, Sandra. You know what I mean. Me giving me shit. I know um, Friday Eve. Acetate shaker charms. That would be so cute. Yes. Okay. I love the blue on the per the um pink. It looks so pretty, right? Buggers. <laughs> oh my god. Somebody look up ladybug puns for me. Let's find a cute ladybug pun. What about lady don't bug me? Hi, Annette. Lady don't bug me. I don't like that one. I kind of like that one. Lady don't bug me. This acetate piece is cute, but is this cuter? I don't know. It could be if I have another piece that color. Let me see. Mm. Let me see. I'm just looking around in my little... um. No, I don't like that. And I don't think I like that. I think that I like this better. And we got our little Sakura flowers that we did on the live the other day that I could add as well for dimension. All right, let me see, guys. I also have the stickers. Hey, lady, I hope your year is spot on. Oh, that's cute. CBs don't bug me. What are CBs? Mm. Bug hugs. Bug hugs. I'm trying to see how I want to embellish this, you guys. Life is better with you. Plant seeds of love and watch them grow. That's cute. You're my ladybug. Oh, I like that one. Crafty blockers. <laughs> what? Crafter blockers? What's that? What the hell? You guys are funny. I don't know if it's a ladybug. It matches so nicely. But I can't tell that it's a ladybug. I have to put the spots. I feel like you're only going to be able to tell. I got to I gotta pull that off, guys, on another video. The white kind of, like, gets hidden, you know? The white gets lost. That white glitter paper. Ladybugs and kisses. That's cute. You could never bug me. That's cute. Hmm. Should we do the ladybug, guys? Hmm. 
<laughs> I got some um, foam pieces. Maybe we'll do the bow on the very top middle. I'm not loving these um, foam. Oh, that's cute, guys. Kind of want another color, though. Okay, I'm thinking too hard about this. Oh. Oh, like children. Okay. Kind of like a cock blocker, but a craft blocker. I gotcha. <laughs> okay, let me do this. I'm sticking this down because I love this. We're sticking this down. We're going with this. Mine do both. <laughs> Mine too. All of ours do. Okay, now I got it. <laughs> I'm like, what? Crafty blockers. Like, what? Like, are those craft haters? I'm, I thought those were like craft haters or something. Okay. We definitely need a good sentiment... So that it screams the ladybug, you know? Okay, I want it to hang off slightly like that. The acetate pieces in this collection, guys, are so pretty. <laughs> my two-year-old tells me no craft. When um, my son, Elijah, when he was younger, Sandra, I know you remember, guys, some of you guys remember this. Um... He will tell me, you got to be a good girl so I can give you crafty supplies. I'm going to buy you crafty supplies. Be a good girl so I can give you, I can buy you craft supplies. Who's a craft hater? What kind of weirdo do you have to be to hate crafts? <laughs> mm. Guys, which ladybug should I use? Because I'm kind of like second guessing this one. Where's that pink face? Let me see. Let me see. I think we tried it and it didn't look that good. The purple one? I'm trying to see if I want to hang it. No, we got to put it right here. Let me do my bow because I want to use this bow there a little bit higher. Yes, I need to take the stickiness off of this. Where is my embossing tool that I always forget? to use there it goes yay i found something you guys i found my pink tweezers they were here the whole time the hell the whole time they were organized and where they were supposed to be see when i clean i like high stuff for myself um You guys, if you don't have one of these, you can just use baby powder and get the stickiness off of your stuff. Don't be using it. Might as well use it because baby powder is not good for you guys. It causes cancer. Okay. Okay. So there's that. I'm not going to put the ladybug to the end because I'm really not sure where to put it. I break chalk and crush it. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, 
I want to add some of these little sakura flowers. I need to make some white ones of these, guys. I need a different color. I just did them all the same color. Do we need a sentiment? Hmm. Let's see. Keep dreaming. Keep smiling. Keep hoping. I really like this plant seeds of love and watch them grow. Where's my sticker book? Let's check out the sticker book. I got avalanches happening right now. Let me kind of put some stuff away, you guys. Hold on. So I got too much stuff out right now. So do we like the idea of it um, flipping open? I had to put something pretty right here, like a tassel. Ooh, a tassel's going to look so pretty. I had to do a tassel right there. Tied it right here. Oh, my God, it's going to look so cute. Okay. Grow wild. I think that would look cute, but my purse says grow wild. Love grows here. I really like that one. Bye, Eve. Thanks for stopping in. Shine bright. A little tiny one would look cute. Yeah, I think I like that shine bright. I don't think I want to put a big-ass sentiment on the front. Man, it would have been nice if they had... Where's that gold paper that I was using? It would be so nice if they had like some type of ladybug sentiment in the Maggie Holmes book so I can put it in the inside and not have to, you know, write something out or whatever. Hold on, let me find my gold scrap. Here we go. That way we could tie in the gold somewhere else in here. All right, let's see. Anybody else always cut these crooked and then have to keep on cutting until you can't cut no more and then it's still not straight? I know I'm not the only one. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. So cute. Shine bright. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not loving it. It seems a great idea. Let me see. Mm. I cut crooked, but not having trouble with live stream. All right, let me get some vellum. I want to make some little wings. Let me cut this with vellum. Well, vellum, you can cut like six pieces. I'm going to do a bunch so I can um, put wings on all the little ladybugs. I hope I remember and I hope we have time to make a little tag embellishment too on this live, guys. 
Let me cover my blue. Damn it, it's already starting to dry. What the heck? It was not even off that long. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Happy Friday Eve. Okay, let's cut this with the vellum. Oh, that's too many damn pieces at once. Let's just do three. Because I want them to look like they're flapping. You know? Let me grab my little scoreboard and I'm going to try to score it like not big at all. I'm going to try my best. I don't know how I'm going to do this with my sausage fingers, but we're going to try. I wish I could find a pretty pink mini scoreboard. Yes. Like that. Where's the other one right here? All right, that's cool. That'll work. You guys can't see. Guys, is everyone having trouble with the stream? I forgot to put my device as a priority. Can any everyone see and hear me? Let me know, please. So you can see, Sophia? Let me know. I can see or whatever, please. Okay, so you guys are not having trouble. Okay, thank you. Try going out and coming back in. Okay. My hair is just everywhere. Thank you, guys. Hi, Erica. How are you? Did I say hi? Kind of takes away from the purple a little bit. Debbie, you too? Hi, Jennifer. Welcome. Let me grab some Nouveau dots, guys. I haven't used... Or should we do diamond dots? We're going to do diamond dots because it's right here in front of me. <laughs> Wait, but I got Nouveau dots too. I mean, yeah, Nouveau dots. We're going to do the diamond dots. <laughs> I hope it's not my connection, you guys. Let's do some diamond dots. We'll do this color. <laughs> Sandra. It, I don't know. I hope it's not my live stream, you guys. I'm so tired of this internet crap. Okay. Let's 
way too many. So this die set does come with the little dots, but I want to use these. Let me use the actual tool that does this because I'm always using that little Dollar Tree thing. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, Ladybug, we might be Ladybugging now. You use black and red, you're, it's going to be like spot on ladybug, you know? But since I use these different colors. You're so cute. I did not use my diamond dots like I should. Does it look, look more like a ladybug now? Kind of want to put diamond dots in the eyes too. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Just stick them in this little hole. Oh, I got to make a bunch of these, you guys. Damn it, I just took it off. Yes, I think I'm going to participate in that challenge. I tend to make things as the same color they are. I know it's it's really hard to see it as a different color sometimes. But sometimes it looks really cute as a different color, you know? So it's like you win some, you lose some. Ah. Put that one back. But I do like the little vellum. That's so cute. What if I did a couple layers of vellum? It would be really cute too. Let's move that to the side. Okay, back to the drawing board. Thank you, Debbie. So, where should we put this ladybug, you guys? I feel like the only place to put it is right here. Hmm. 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 I'm still not sure if I like to shine bright. All right. And I did want to add these flowers for dimension, but does it look great on this? Wait, let me top my glue up. Oh my God, look at how cute this looks. Look at it. This was just laying right here. I love that. I'm gluing that down. That looks so cute. The little Sakura flowers on the ladybugs. How cute is that? I like that. Isn't that adorable? <gasps> Chiquita, you call me a hoe? <laughs> you hoe girl? Use the darker one. It shows up better. I use hot glue thinking it will come off after I did sandals, but it's kind of stuck. <laughs> Chiquita. First, you told me that my jump rings were weak. <laughs> you guys think the darker... Oh, that does look cute. 
But what about all the diamond dots we just did? First, you told me that my stuff was weak, and then you called me a whole girl. <laughs> oh. Now nah, I don't know what to do, guys. Damn, night owls always confusing me. I don't like that sentiment. Yeah, I'm a boho girl. I'm not a whole girl. <laughs> mm, I'm just a boho. So funny. I know spell check, girl. Excuse me. Look too into it. It's not even spelled like that. <laughs> Chiquita came to make the live more interesting. <laughs> Getting my ratings up. Okay, girl. I kind of want to do the girl wild. I don't know. Oh my god. I just want to um okay. So, I'm still not sure about the ladybug thing. Let's just forget about that for a minute. And let me I'm going to leave this so it flips open. And where's that paper at? Where's that other piece that I cut? Here it goes. Let's mat that. And I'm going to use a sticker that says Love Grows here. I think that would be cute. I kind of want to put some foam. Yeah, I'll put some foam. We could put some foam. We've got plenty of room to put foam. Let me see if I want to use that pink. Or like the same. Darker or lighter pink, guys. This is with the light. Matchy, matchy. I'm not sure yet. And then this is the pink. I kind of like the dark. It's one for one for dark, one for light. Come on, guys. Cast your votes. I need tiebreaker. One dark, one light. Here's the dark. I like the dark, too. Chiquita, don't be cheating. You already voted. <laughs> and there's the light. <laughs> She's terrible. <sighs> the dark. Okay, dark one. Girl, mess. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pop this up on foam because I think it's going to look cute. We got plenty of room with that jump ring. I probably should use a smaller jump ring. <laughs> Who Chiquita said I'm hood. Honestly, I like the polka dot. Me too. I think it look, it goes really cute with the ladybug theme too, right? I like the polka dot one too. I love it when we're all on one accord. All right. So since I got this jump ring here, there's plenty of space for me to put this. So that's where I'm going to do it. Otherwise, I would have left it just flat. You know, because who puts dimension in the inside of a car? No one. Oh, okay. I got you. I thought Chiquita said she's hood. Ooh, I don't know if it's straight, but it's going to have to do. And then we're going to do the one that says Love Grows here. It's so cute. I hope that it looks good on this and I don't have to mat it on paper. Look at how cute. It's not centered. Damn it. Ah. This is 
are gonna be so hard to center, man. Whatever. However it lands, it's how it lands. Love grows here. Let's add some more stickers. Stickers. I want to do this little yellow one, even though there's really not no yellow going on. I think that'll be cute. And my stomach hurts. I'm hungry, guys. Mm. And let's do a little butterfly. Yeah. We'll do this butterfly, the yellow and the pink. Right there in the corner. And let's do some little diamond dots. One, two, three. And then let's do some right here. One, two, three. I have no clue what we're going to eat today for dinner. <clears throat> I wanted to make steak tacos, tadas, but I now feel like going to the store. I got to kind of drive a little far to go there to get the meat. I miss Pete's in Chicago. Come on, turn around. I hate it when they flip over. So annoying. Probably too much of the same color, but that's fine. Just a little extra something, something. Okay. No, I can't really close it because of all that excess glue. It'll be fine. It's got like a dimension, so. Sorry, my phone was dying, guys. Let me put this on the charger. We're almost done. Now we got to figure this out. Let's see, we got this. I don't know, like the pink kind of throws me off, but it will match the inside, you know? But you can't see the inside yet. I love the these, this flower on the ladybug, you guys. It just looks so cute, I don't know why. Probably not on this one. We had leftovers yesterday, and I got even more food left to have leftovers again, but I can't do it. Uh-uh. I can't eat leftovers for more than two days. We're just going to stick that there because it's driving me nuts. This ladybug is driving me nuts. I don't know where to put her. We still have to figure out a sentiment, you guys. Even though I have one on the inside. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Got a little flowers. Probably too much. It might start to get too busy. I gotta really figure out this ladybug. I think I'm just gonna stick it there. It's so cute, you guys, but I don't know if I want to put it on this project. No. <laughs> I know you guys see me just putting it back and forth, back and forth. I have to love this or it's going to bug me. So that's why I keep going back and forth with it. Let me find another flower. If you put the two little flowers where the ladybug was, 
and no ladybug. I know, but I just cut the ladybug out. We got to use it on something. Like, we could make another card, but how long have we been on here? Oh, my God, 85 minutes. How? Where, when, and how? I'm putting that sentiment because we put it on gold. You're going on there. Whether you like it or not. And I want to add some of these little sprigs. I cut out a bunch yesterday. We're going with the ladybug, guys. Maybe I should pop it up. I really could use ladybug on some another project, though. Hmm. Mm, so I just cut a bunch of little sprigs. Probably not that blue one. That looks cute there, right? I think it looks cute there. Let me just stick it in here. That's cute. Stick a little flower there. I think. Let me see. I stuck that one down. It's kind of cute, right, guys? We're going with it. Or else I'll be here all day long trying to decide on this ladybug. She's going on there. And I'm just going to put that flower there. I still got to make a tassel for this. And I'm trying to think whether I should do a yard or um, ribbon, a ribbon tassel like the one I did on the mini the tulip one that I did um, one more it's probably too big let me find a smaller oh my god my stomach hurts so bad I feel like my stomach's in my back Thank you, Chiquita. I really like to do clusters of flowers. Let me figure this out, guys. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I feel like it looks weird scattered like that, you know? I'm just going to stick it right there. The ladybug is so cute, you guys. Definitely. No, I didn't buy it, girl. No. That was a really cute idea, though, with the uh, cubes turned. That's so cute, guys. Do I want to put that sprig there? I feel like if I put it there, it's going to break. Because it's not really sturdy there. Maybe I'll stick it here. Yes. So I told you... um. These little sprigs, guys, they help so much with, like, adding little details and embellishing, like, further embellishing your projects. Okay. I even cut these white and gold ones, but I don't think I'm going to use them. Thank you, Sheikah. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, guys. It's a little um card banner paper clip. I think it came out pretty, guys. Um 
feel like I want to add one more sprig. But I'm not sure. I have to make more of these flowers because I'm using almost all of them. And they're going to be really nice to have. Let's clip this. I have a bunch too and never use them. Me too, girl. I always like buy them so that I can die cut them and have them ready. But I never remember to die cut them and I never have them ready. I have to really make um a point to cut them as soon as I get them and just have them all ready to go. I think that's cute, you guys. I love the little gold. We have to do a tassel. All right. I think it came out pretty cute. So we use the paper, jumbo paper clip mini album. That's this pendant here. And you guys, you can make banners with this. It's gonna be this die is gonna look so cute as a banner. I should make that. I was gonna do a dangle chiquita, but I feel like I always do a dangle. And I'm really gonna like how the um either if I use ribbon or if I use yarn, the, the texture is gonna give it, you know. Okay, so God, I'm making such a huge mess. Let me just grab some. I have like I'm just gonna grab whatever's in my little drawer right here. I have a bunch of scraps. We can use some lace, Chiquita. I got some lace. Somebody gifted this to me and I do not remember. I'm so sorry. Thank you for so Anastasia. I think Anastasia gave this to me. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna cut that in half. We can use some lace. I'm gonna cut this in half. It would have been so much easier if I would have folded it and cut it, but that's okay. Okay. We'll use some of this trim. And I'm gonna do like two of every Whatever trim I use, I'm going to use two pieces. So this is a great way to use like your little scraps. If you have like some trim that you only got a little bit left of or whatever. What else? I'm trying to think what I use in my other one. Oh, that, um, I feel like I have to put some of the snow to Come on. Do I have any gold trim? Not in this drawer. I'll, I can add gold into the mix. I like that this tool has some gold in it. And then I could probably charm with the gold to tie the gold in. Do I have any of that periwinkle color? I don't think I do, you guys. Whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna take these two and I'm gonna fold it. And then cut it. Okay. 
Let's see how this looks, guys. I need some satin ribbon. Solid pink. I do have some star. Hold on. I have some gold star ribbon. Maybe we could add that. Cutting me off camera, huh? Because I don't want to pull this whole thing out of my drawer. The best decision I made in my craft room was putting my trims and my uh, trim scraps in the drawer behind me on my desk. Best decision I ever made. Because I would just always like have my other drawer covered up or whatever the case is. And then just use what I have around me. Now I got like a nice little variety. I have that gold trim. And again, I need that satin. Where's my satin one? My pink Dollar Tree favorite one that I always make bows with. I just pulled the brand new um, roll out. But I have no clue where I put it. It should be in my damn drawer. Mm. Oh, here. Nope. I don't see it. Hmm. I know I pulled it out the other day. All right, whatever. Let's see what, what we got right here. So I like to layer it. I need a solid pink, guys. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this looks. I'm going to kind of go in order. Doesn't have to be perfect. Because we could trim the edges. Look how pretty that is together, though. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. And then this gold. I hope the gold is not going to be too harsh. You no, know, because it's so all this is so soft. All right, and then I'm gonna repeat. I'm probably good with just like that. Let me see. Yeah, I think so, guys. I think I'm gonna go with just that. I don't have to make it too thick, but let's see how it looks thick. <laughs> Since I already cut everything. You're ripping fabric to make bowls? Like, so you can get that tattered um, fabric look? Is that everything, Chiquita? The pink. And then the gold. Let's see how this looks. That's too much. See, I should have went with my first mine. That's all right. Move all that. I can make two tassels now. Okay. So let me do this again. Actually, let me get a clip to put all this on. I got these from Happy Crafter Shop. I'm trying to see if I want to add them. Um... I think I want to do a gold ring. I always want to do a damn gold ring. Let me see. It's probably too big. This is that um, keychain bundle from Amazon, guys. You get 100 pieces for 
It's a really great deal. I'll link it down below in case you guys didn't grab it. All right, let's do this. So again, just use whatever scraps you have, whatever you think will look nice. I love all the texture that I'm going to get from the tool and the lace and all these little trims. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Come on, man. Maybe we'll put the pink one on top. No, I like the gold on top. Okay. And then I'm going to loop this. Thank you, Sandra. I'm going to loop all this. You guys can make this as thick as you want. Trying to line it up nicely. And it keeps moving on me. Shifting on me. Okay. Damn it. You know what? Just stay still. I'm getting irritated with this. There we go. And then I'm going to tie something around here. Let me just use string for now until I figure out what I want to put there. I'm just going to use a piece of string. Thank you. I got the star trim from um, Amazon. I'm going to search my orders. I got it years ago, girl. That thing is lasting me. Oh, my God. I'm going to find the link for you, and I'll put it in the description box, Debbie. If you don't see it, remind me, please. All right, I'm just going to tie this. But really, you should get like some satin trim or something to tie this. I'm just going to tie it to see how I like it. And then I'll cover it with, with, you know, a prettier trim. I need to find that pink trim. It's my favorite from Dollar Tree. Star gives it a little something extra, right? Look how ugly this yarn looks right here. Let me tie it again for good luck. I'll link it down for you guys. You get a lot, a lot, huge roll, and it's a really beautiful trim. It goes like everything. A pretty gold too you see okay so there goes that and then let's cut this sometimes i like to like fishtail these I hope that you guys have fun with me today making this. I had a lot of fun making this um, embellishment card. I don't know what to call it. We're going to call it a banner card. I don't know what to call it. Let me move all this stuff out the way. And I got to finish this off by tying a bow on there because ain't no way. I know we got to have another bow in the mix. Really, I don't need this little thing right here. I mean, I could put it. But honestly, you can just do this. And have it hang. Hmm, probably will look better with this. We'll see. I feel like I need a smaller ring. It might be cute to just have this. That way they can, you know, take it off and use it for something else. 
I got to put a smaller ring, guys, because I want it to hang like this. You know what I mean? I think this is too long. Let's see. Yeah, that's too long. Don't like it. I should have tried to squeeze everything in here. I'm like trying to look for my other rings. I need a smaller ring. But anyways, you guys get the gist, right? I think that's cute with the little tassel. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for coming on with me. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with these dies. I want to make something else with this paperclip one. I think it's it might be my favorite one. I don't know. There's some really cute ones in this release. But this is how it came out. Oh, I got to put a bow here and some trim. Oh, yeah, I found my um, set and trim. Here we go. So I'm going to tie a double bow first. Thank you. Gonna watch me struggle with these sausage fingers. Damn, I've just bent my nail. I heard it. Ooh. Yes, I do have a tutorial for the box. Let me show you guys how um it came out. Hold on, let me finish this. It's already time to get my kids. Yeah, these are my natural nails, girl. They keep breaking on me. Look at my pinky, bro. Okay. So I'm going to fishtail the... What the hell? And then to the other side. Try to make them twins. Step sisters. Look at how much prettier that one is from the other one. Okay. That's a lot of bows going on, right? Does it look like too much, you guys? And then you can like tie this off right here, you know? I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna double it. I'm gonna double it like this. I can't tell what's the front and what's the back. Just gonna put some hot glue. I want to do a short video for us. A tutorial for the bow. I tried showing you guys. My fingers are too fat to show a damn tutorial for the bows, guys. I tried to do it in a live before. And it was just so hard to see. The paper clips. I got them from Ross Girl for $1.99. I'm going to show you the pack again. But you can get them from like TJ Maxx. Um, you might be able to find them in like Dollar General and stuff like that. Guys, where do you guys find your paper clips? Your jumbo ones. This die is perfect for these, girl. You have to get those jumbo ones. Okay, let me try to cut this. All right. We're getting somewhere. Hey, what's going on right here? Okay. So here goes our pretty little tassel. And then, you know, kind of like pull your things apart. I think if I would have put more, it would have been way too much. I don't know. And then 
My bow didn't come out the best. Did it come loose? It came out cute. Came out cute. And I'm just gonna glue that right there. It's probably a lot of bows going on, but whatever. Y'all, y'all know the boho. It'll never be enough. Never. Alright, I got so much stuff on my desk. But this is the finished look, guys. I'll probably hang some beads. This is um from Ross. I always find them at Ross. I got this one, and then the purple ones are right here. But they used to sell them at Tuesday morning. I used to really see them a lot at Tuesday morning, but I have been seeing them at places like TJ Maxx and um, Ross and stuff like that, okay? So this is the finished result, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. I, came, I think it came out really pretty. And if, like I said, if this is too much or whatever, the person can take it out. I'm trying to think if I want to put it on this side. It doesn't matter. I think I want to use a smaller ring as well because I want it to be really tight on here. Yes, Ross has some really cute crafty stuff, guys. And look at all the details. So cute. I could probably add some sequins too. Love that. All these pieces come, this and all the little things come with the paperclip mini album, guys. It's a must have in your stash, I'm telling you. And these are the flowers that we made with the Sakura dye that she has. I have a tutorial on it. They have tool. And then there goes the inside of the card. All right. So that's it for this video, guys. I love you. Did I say I was going to show you something else? Oh, yeah, the box. So if you missed yesterday, try another one, Debbie. Some, some of them are crap. You have to see when their days are because they probably get good stuff, but not a lot. And then somebody snatches it. So this is what we made yesterday. It's a pretty long live, guys. I'm sorry. It's an hour and a half long, but it was fun. I had a lot of fun making this. I did get a little frustrated towards the end, but it was fun making this. This is her um, pop-up card, and it makes like an envelope. And if you love envelope, we're going to make a box out of this, like an open close box in another tutorial. And I just, this is for my mom. So I want to do a tag here that says mom with some cute little trim or something. So she can pull it out and use it as a bookmark because she likes to read. And then it says, you are the absolute best. And again, I made this a box so that it can hold the mini album. So this is the same die we just used right now. And I used the bag maker to create that box as well. I told you guys that is a must have in your stash. And I'm going to start keeping all the ones that I can make like 3D stuff right here in front of me for when I need it. So there goes those flowers again. The scallop. All these little sprigs are from this die. And then we just matted the papers. I have to still embellish this and finish it and do a spine. But it fits perfectly inside of here. Okay. So I'll link that video down below, guys. I hope that you've been having fun with these lives this week. I'm so happy I was able to do, I think I did four lives this week. So I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, everyone.